Hi guys, so this time I'm going to be making the cube. So, I've already made the cube. Um, I have all the points here. It's not really important that you made the cube exactly like I did it. Or that you even made that you even made a cube, you can make anything. So first off, I've changed all the colors to grey instead. That way we can give an outline to the, to the polygons later. But first off, I'm gonna change something here. Instead of writing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Um, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna write a number of 3D polygons instead. That way we don't have to increment this number every time. It's gonna fill more, but it's gonna be uh, more easy to create new polygons. So, uh, the reason we can use this is because each time we make one, we Incre increment uh, this value number of sorry this value number of 3D polygons by one, so it will be the same just to write zero or to white one. So other than making all them gray, um, I'm also going to add an outline to them. So when we draw all these polygons, we are actually in here when we draw these polygons, we are not just going to fill them. We are going to set the color to color black and then we are going to draw the polygons that way the outline will be drawn and it will be on top of the fill of the polygons so now I'm gonna run it and see what happens so as, in, as you can see this is, this is my cube it looks pretty weird the reason it looks weird is because the, uh, the uh, polygon that is here is being drawn behind the other polygons this is because I haven't added any kind of uh, um, code that, that decides which polygons are being drawn first. So that's what I'm going to be doing next. As you can see it looks like a cube. Rotates uh, weirdly. It's not really any system in that, but it's 3D and it's a cube. So what I'm going to add now is, as I said, the, um, the thing that will decide what, what's going to be uh, drawn closest to the screen. Uh, now this is going to be a bit inaccurate because I can't uh, check everything precisely to where it's going to be drawn but for this cube it's going to be working just fine. So first off what we need is to add o to all these uh, drawable polygons we need to add a value. This value is going to describe how far away from the, the viewpoint um, this polygon is. So double, sorry Double um, distance. Gonna call it average distance. Gonna set it to zero. Um, so when we create this polygon, we're gonna set this average. Oops, this average distance to something. So in here we are creating the polygon down here, and we are actually updating. So we have to remember to update it as well. But first off, let's set the distance. So, um, we could actually add it as an argument if we wanted, but it doesn't really matter. This value. And I'm actually going to write minus one here. Because, as you know, I could just write poly in here actually. It would be a lot easier. Poly. Um, and then dot average dist. Then we're gonna set it equal to. Uh, our t value, the t value we got in here. So now we're gonna have to figure out how to do that. So in here we have this t value that describes how far away from our viewpoint it is. So what we're gonna do? <laughs> gonna do it the easy way or the very fast way. I'm gonna ma ma make a new static here called T and set it to zero. And then I'm gonna remove this this double right here. This way we can just say that the last time we used this, it figured out what T value it was. So I'm gonna set this to the calculator. That T. But there's a problem in, in doing this because now we only get the 
t value of one of the uh, of the uh, the points we want to have them for all the points so what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this up here so we're gonna actually have an, an average an average uh, we're gonna figure out the average um, t value the average distance so we're gonna make a double total to zero and then here up here total plus equal calculator t and then we write down here we, we set the average distance then we have to get the to get the average we just take the total and divide by the number of elements so total divided by x dot length so yeah now we have set the average distance from our viewpoint to all the, the the points in our polygon so now we are going to use this uh, average distance we are going to sort our polygons uh, after which polygon is the closest and we're gonna actually which poly polygon is the furthest away and we're gonna draw that first and then we are going to draw the uh, the closest one one will be drawn last so to do this we need to add a um, new uh, sorting method. Now I have already made this sorting method because it would be pretty hard to remember. Um, I've called it set order. So first off we need to make a variable called new order. This is gonna be an integer, an array integer. This is the, the value we are going to put in when we are drawing it here. Instead of using i we're gonna Rise, uh, r uh, write new order uh, and then i inside so instead of i here we're gonna write new order i yes so now we need to change a bit here because um, this k value this is that the value that holds all the distances um, so and the distances are set here so drawable polygons there's just one array and then that average distance. So now the k values is equal to all of our. Actually, I should say it runs a loop uh, through all of the number of polygons, the drawable polygons we have, and then it um, it sets the k value equal to the the drawable polygons average distance, and then the new order. That's just get going to be set to the number uh, we have uh, uh, what's what's called the number we have for this polygon. The reason we have this new order and we set it equal to this is because if we just sorted these average distances once we have them sorted we wouldn't know which number um, was connected to which polygon. So it would just be sorted after the smallest to the la largest and we couldn't really use that to anything. So we need to add this new order that we sort um, at the same time as we sort these average distances that way we save which uh, number, which polygon number it has. So now we make uh, this fine loop here, which pretty much just sorts it. I'm not going to go into depth depth of how it does it. Um, just going to check I have all the right variables set in here. Yeah, so it should be all good. So now, um, I'm not sure if, if there's more I need to add here. Oh, I'm actually gonna call the uh, the function. That's a good idea. So set order. It's gonna draw them. Then I'm gonna try and run and see what happens. So it doesn't work. Great. Hmm. So why might that be? kind of inter interesting so might be because it is sorting at as hmm, no no I'm not quite sure in the next video I'm gonna have this figured out and you can uh, you can watch that video so see you nice